In the shadow of your wings I will abide forever And hear my spirit sings I will rejoice in you, my God Welcome to In the Shadow of Your Wings with Pastor John Marins of the Granby Christian Church. The Granby Christian Church desires the lost to be saved and the believer to passionately pursue Christ in all that they do. Let's join Pastor John Marins for today's message. Friends, Thanksgiving is a grand day. As the old grade school song used to say, Thanksgiving Day is here at last and all the children shout. Hurrah for turkey, me oh my for cranberry sauce and pumpkin pie. (laughs) Thanksgiving is here at last. The first federal Congress asked President George Washington to recommend to the nation a day of Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Years later, Abraham Lincoln proclaimed that Thanksgiving was to be celebrated on the last Thursday of every November. So here we are again, almost at the end of November, Mm -hmm. and we're ready to lift our hands up to you, God, in profound thanksgiving for all the things that you have done. You know, for this day, we've invited Linda Starkweather again into the studio to help us with some special thoughts on how we can praise and worship God this Thanksgiving. You remember Linda Starkweather lives in Joplin and she attends Fellowship Baptist Church on 32nd Street in Joplin. Mrs. Starkweather works with her son Rick Starkweather at Chick-fil-A. There she's a very gracious hostess greeting people and that's where we met her. Mm -hmm. And I'm so thankful, Linda, that we did meet you. And we're looking forward to what you have to share with us. But before we start, Let's thank God. Dear God, please free us from all distractions just now and help us to concentrate on you. Give Linda some special words that you would have her to share with us and help us to take these words to heart and make our time together meaningful. And also, would you change us, Father? because of this time. And and Father, reach out to one who doesn't know you as Lord and Savior, Jesus, and save them, we pray. Amen. Linda, if you would, please, would you just give us a favorite memory that you have of Thanksgiving? Well, I have a couple of them. One, when I talked to my family, I was asking them for favorite memories, but both of my boys felt like that. Going to the farm, in at Pier City. My aunt and uncle lived on a farm just outside of Pier City. And in fact my cousin still lives there today. He has a tomato farm down there. But they love going down to the farm and I can still have the picture in my mind of seeing those kids get out in the field and as young boys will do, they would try to push each other into the cow piles. But uh, they would play baseball and uh, the dads would get out there with them and uh, we loved watching them play. You know, isn't there anything more exciting than to watch kids just yeah, enjoy the it's day? Wonderful. And with all the family and extended family and cousins, and of course, we women would be in, go into the kitchen and be getting stuff set up for the day. But I just love those memories of seeing the laughter and the joy and setting the food out on those big, long tables and everybody coming to enjoy them. The other memory I have is of Jerry, and it was he was 45 years old. And in October of that year, he began coughing up blood. Mm-hmm. And uh, we knew it wasn't good because, uh, you know, you, that's not normal by any uh, stretch of the imagination. But we took him to the doctor and they did extend a test. And they very uh, bluntly said to us they were 99% sure it was lung cancer. And wow. so we're going into uh, that surgery and not knowing what we're going to find. As it turned out, it was not lung cancer. Praise uh, we the praise Lord. the Lord for that. It was a, an infection, but they had to take out uh, half of his uh, uh, lower left lung. And uh, back in the 80s, when this w- happened, they cut you wide open from front to back. And so they told us he would be off work for a minimum of five months to heal. So we were in Mississippi at the time, so we came back home and uh, stayed with my sister and uh, 
what a day of rejoicing we had. Oh, my, we were just thanking God. Thanksgiving for, was real, wasn't it? It was a real Thanksgiving. Wow. And as we sat around that table and just rejoiced in the Lord for his goodness to us, and uh, even though we were looking at uh, going to be some financial hardships, you didn't care because you knew God had you in his hand and he had already done so much that that's probably one of my favorite days. And uh, Jerry will tell you that it was one of the best uh, Thanksgivings and, and the best Christmas we ever had. But it was just uh, the time that we said, God, no matter what, we praise you. We praise you. And he brought us through that. So it was wonderful. That's an important thought mm -hmm. to say, no matter what, we praise you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I wonder, Linda, do you have some traditions that you like to carry on from year to year at your house? It's probably, I, I stopped and thought about that. What traditions do we have? And it came down, I thought, well, it's three Fs. Well, maybe four. <laughs> but it's uh, faith, first yes. of all. Yes. And family. Yes. And, of course, food. Yeah. We can't think of Thanksgiving without food. And then I had to tack on football. <laughs> now, growing up, I was not a big football fan at all. And, in fact, I was a cheerleader in high school. <laughs> and one of the cheers that we did was, first and ten, do it again. First and ten, do it again. <laughs> yeah. I had no idea what we were saying. <laughs> no concept of what it was. But having two sons and a husband, uh, you come home from church and you eat, and then what's on? Football. So as I began to sit there and, and watch it with the, uh, the kids, I began to learn, oh, they made 10 yards, so they get to do it again. Oh, <laughs> now it clicks in my mind. But uh, we just sitting around uh, enjoying that after the meal is wonderful. But the first of all, uh, Rick, my oldest son, has said, it's my favorite holiday. Wow. Because we, we pause and we thank, we're yeah. thankful. We're thankful. And then the other thing that we do is that we go around the table and tell something that you're thankful for. Wonderful. Yeah. And, you know, there's always something to be thankful for. That's a grand tradition. Mm -hmm. But it's it's really nice that we have that. And you'd be surprised what some of those kids will say they're thankful for. Amen. And they're Amen. a little deeper than we give them credit for sometimes. That's mm -hmm. right. Out of the mouth of babes, yes, right? Yes, right. I wonder, you know, we all make preparations for the day, but what special preparations do you usually do to make the day so special for your family? Well, cook. Yeah. <laughs> What, what's your favorite recipe? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what my what my kids always want me to bring. <laughs> okay. Is homemade noodles. All right. And uh, so they have to have that, and they have to have pumpkin chiffon pie. All right. Now, I don't care for pumpkin pie. <laughs> I'm not a pumpkin pie eater, but my husband, Jerry, was, and the boys, but they like the pumpkin chiffon pie better than the re regular pumpkin pie. So I always have to fix that. But I've kind of gotten uh, a little easier now because uh, probably, I don't know how long ago, maybe six years ago, Rick began to deep fry the turkey. Really? Yeah. Nancy would prepare it because you have to prepare it in a certain way. And then he would take it down to the store and uh, deep fry them in the fryers. And of course, it pulls that oil all out and it's easy to clean up. And so when I don't have to cook the turkey anymore, that took a lot off because <laughs> I usually make the dressing and the noodles and the pumpkin pie. That's the thing that the girls have got me doing. But Kelly, Jeff's wife, I'm telling you, she's an artist. I, I'm, I don't know if she ever gets tired of us. We always ask her to do the same thing, but she makes a fruit tray that could be in a magazine. You know, she's so talented. And we always say, can you bring the fruit tray? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she always does that. She makes other things, but that's her kind of her specialty. And we always look forward to that. So it's just expressing our faith in the Lord mm -hmm. and having family around the table mm -hmm. and then uh, like I say eating that delicious food and watching football <laughs> it's a great way to celebrate isn't yeah, it it is I wonder do you have some special services that you attend in, in preparation for that uh, our church always has a Thanksgiving meal wow I think I think this year it's on the 20th I believe and uh, it's wonderful because uh, uh, we get to eat together, and then we have uh, a testimony time usually, and then we'll have uh, singing. 
and uh, just worshiping the Lord. So that's kind of uh, always a nice thing to do. It is. I mm-hmm. love to. Mm-hmm. We're going to have a community service before Thanksgiving, the uh-huh. Sunday night before at mm-hmm. the First Church of God in Granby. Mm-hmm. And oh, it's just a wonderful time when the church gets together and really mm-hmm. prepares our hearts, doesn't mm-hmm. it, for the mm-hmm. day? Yeah, it does. Well, I was just wondering about some verses, Linda, that you have really found that help you to be thankful to God. The first one that I thought of is uh, Psalms. One eighteen twenty four. This is the day that the Lord hath made. Mm-hmm. We will rejoice and be glad in it. You know, He's given us this day. What we try to live in the future or the past sometimes, and He says, "No, you live day by day by day." He's promised grace for the day. Well, Psalms one hundred and four and five also tells us, uh, John, that enter His gates with thanksgiving and His courts with praise. Give thanks to Him and bless his name. And why do we do that? The rest of the verse says, for the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. We can praise him because he is good and his love endures forever. Oh my, we serve such a wonderful and mighty God. So we do need to enter into his courts with thanksgiving and courts with praise but most of all lord we just want to thank you and that's what i think thanksgiving is and what why we love that it's about faith when you when you get together yeah it's about the food but it's also about our faith that we can express our gratitude to god for what he's done for us he's given us a a family he's given us this time together so we just rejoice in that Another verse that I really do like is found in Ephesians 5, 20. Always giving thanks to God the Father for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Everything. Yeah. Isn't that something? That's a pretty broad commandment, isn't it? It's pretty broad. It doesn't mean just the no. pumpkin pie. No. <laughs> Not just when everything's going good. No. You know, and I'm sitting here thinking, and something that just came to my mind, there's people out there that don't have a family. That's right. And they don't have a family around them. But I know that they can give thanks in everything. You know, I don't know what their circumstances are, yeah. but God has something good for them. Yes, because, he does. because the word tells us that, that he's loving and he's kind. And if they will seek him and uh, they can even make that Thanksgiving wonderful. Yes, they can. Uh, we uh, a lot of times have people come in that that don't have families to be with and they'll come and they'll eat with us. And I challenge people out there that if they know someone that doesn't have a family around them, that they would invite them over and ask them to, to come and experience the joy of fellowship with one another. But I just know that we are to give thanks in everything. Amen. Well, well, as we draw to a close, we're going to have Linda close in prayer today. But I've got an exciting announcement to make. You know, I'm giving thanks that $44,778.13 have been given so far for the new radio tower at KNEO. And what a joy it's going to be when God puts up that new tower and uh, we'll be ready again to broadcast. We're praying that it goes very smoothly, that there won't be any accidents and everything will just go great. So a part of our closing prayer, maybe, maybe we'll add that idea of God help us to get the new tower as well. Linda, would you close us in prayer and just ask God's blessing upon our thanksgiving. Father, we come to you at this very moment, first of all, to praise you for who you are and what you did for us on Calvary. My, 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 how we can never repay you. We didn't earn it. We didn't deserve it. But you and your mercy and grace, God provided a, a plan of salvation so that we could spend eternity in heaven with him. So we're thankful for that today. That's the main thing we're thankful for, that we have a God who loves us and prepared a way that we could have fellowship with him for all, all eternity. Thank you, Lord, for a nation that still allows us to have prayer in churches. We pray that that will continue through many generations. We also thank you that uh, that you have established in our hearts a desire to have fellowship one with another. And Father, I thank you that most of all, you have let us know that you love us, you care for us, and that we can praise you in everything today. Everything that comes into our life is sent through your loving hands and is going to help us in some way 
So we praise you for that, Lord, and we thank you. And I just pray for the people that are listening today that they will have a special and prosperous and happy Thanksgiving. We love you, Lord, and we ask all of these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Linda. Mm-hmm. Thank you for listening to In the Shadow of Your Wings with Pastor John Marins of the Granby Christian Church. If you don't have a church home, they would like to invite you to join them this Sunday for morning worship at 1045. The church is located at 969 Granby Miners Road in Granby, Missouri. Have a blessed weekend and remember to abide in the shadow of his wings. I will rejoice in you, my God, in the shadow of your wings.